This is Roger Stone, who gave an interview today saying he didn't turn on the boss. He could have, uh, but he didn't. That sure indicates he had damaging material on the boss. Frank, please remind us why Roger Stone was convicted. Yeah, lest anyone feel any sympathy for this man, let's just spend a minute recapping what he was convicted of and why the president had completed his sentence. Roger Stone tried to subvert, undermine our presidential election system, and he did so in concert with two foreign entities. Namely, there's evidence indicating that he was the intermediary between the Russian intelligence hacking unit known as Guccifer and the WikiLeaks organization. And I'll point to federal court testimony by Rick Gates, the former deputy chairman of the Trump 2016 campaign, who said in court, I was riding in a Chevy Suburban with Trump to LaGuardia Airport. Trump took a call from Roger Stone. They appeared to talk about WikiLeaks and the release of the hacked material from the DNC. When Trump ended the call, he turned to Gates and said, they're going to release more information. This is why Trump had to commute Roger Stone. Roger Stone can put Donald Trump in federal prison for lying. Lying when? Lying in his written responses to the special counsel when the president told Robert Mueller, I never heard anything about Roger Stone talking to anybody about timing or the release of the hacked DNC and Clinton materials. That was a lie. And tonight, Trump is going to hit the pillow in the White House and have to wonder that if Roger Stone has one bad day and decides to dime out the president, Trump could end his presidency and eventually go to prison. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.